G'day, I'm Kate Rarock. How are you? I am on magnificent Ewan country, the south coast of New South Wales. It's a glorious day and I'm off on a solo hike. So come along with me. We are just gonna head up the beach. It's uh, off track, so it's a bit of an explore. Hopefully we find a good campsite, but you know, you can't really go wrong on the south coast of New South Wales. So let's do it. Check out these beautiful wallaby prints. You can see he's coming this way. There's two paws. There's two paws and then the tail drag. So we're just moving along slowly along the beach, looking if there's anything to eat. And then, excitingly, next to that, this is what I reckon is a goanna print. See this one, how it's got full long tail and it's got sort of a, I don't know, you can see like the claws on the foot so Goanna's come along here as well and had a little look for something to eat. Beautiful. These are the Goannas and these ones are the Wallaby. These Goanna prints are even better you can see where he's put down his foot and then put a big lazy strike where he's dragged his claw around for the next step. Drag, drag, drag and that's his tail in the centre or her tail. Beautiful. God, you've got to love a hike where I'm, you know, a few k's in already and I haven't had to put my shoes on yet. I'm thinking some of this rock hopping I probably should be putting them on, but it's just too nice to put them on right now. So we'll, we'll risk the sore feet, uh, but it's just such a beautiful day. <sighs> I think I have to give in to these rocks. Uh, Got to whack the shoes on. It's a bit disappointing. I was hoping to get through the whole hike without having to wear them, but hey, you know, I don't want to like bang up a toe and then I can't hike back out. <laughs> So I definitely made the right decision whacking the shoes on and making much, much better progress. And um, not quite where to where I wanted to camp, but geez, I've just stumbled across this little beach. Um, it's always nice to have a backup plan, you know, because um, I have no idea am I gonna be able to get over these rocky headlands up here further. And so it's nice to know there's this cute little beach here, um, kind of flat like a camp up the back there and uh, get a little swim in. Yeah, this would certainly do, but I definitely want to keep on exploring just a little bit further, see how far I can get. I reckon I'm gonna get rejected by the rocks at some stage, but uh, we'll see how we go. Oh man. there's even a tiny little creek here that's uh, so good to know because one of the biggest issues for me is hiking along the coast is the lack of water and so I'm loaded up like a bit of a camel because I really didn't think there'd be any fresh water so if I do run out um, you know and I'm pretty thirsty and tomorrow morning I can make sure I pick a bit up here before I get back to the car another tip and I always go on about this but I love 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 leaving fresh water in my car so that I know no matter what happens out here Boom, there's beautiful fresh water. As soon as I get to that car, I can drink up nice and deep. A couple of years ago, I did what was called the Great South Coast Walk, and that's a walk about 700 k's from Sydney uh, in New South Wales to Mallacoota, all the way along the south coast to Mallacoota in Victoria. And it's just a banger of a hike. At the moment, it's not a formal trail, so there's a lot of headaches and navigation issues, but they're looking to formalize it, and I'm so excited by that. Um, I think they're going to give it a bit of a cooler name, uh, perhaps something to you know, acknowledge the traditional custodians and that's just going to be so exciting. A lot of the local councils are already putting together you know, little paths in their jurisdiction and 
once it all joins up, it's just going to be, I reckon, one of Australia's iconic trails. I can't wait to see it happen because this, this coast, it's just bonkers. It's so nice. So it's currently a pretty low tide, so I need to be super aware of that because I can go in at the low tide, but I need to make sure I can come out when tomorrow uh, morning or Arvo, it's going to be pretty high. So just need to sort of have a look at the rocks and work out. Yeah, this is certainly dry where I am there. That's going to be flooded there. a bit of a rock ledge here. I'm hoping I can get through here, but the swell is massive, so I need to be super careful. Um, wow, watch it here coming in. <laughs> super careful if I do go down there that I don't turn my back on the ocean because I do not want to get washed in there with a backpack on. Let's just watch what these breakers do. <laughs> oh. I just love that power of the ocean, it's mad. All right, I'm gonna give it a bash. Feeling pretty small. <laughs> oh. Epic. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get out of here. Yeah, look, I've been denied. There's, um, I don't know if you can see it down there, but there's this sort of a, a big, tunnel here that goes in like a sea cave so can't get around that I can't really climb those rocks they start to get pretty pretty steep there so I'm gonna try and get over the headland and see if we can get in there so we're gonna go do some of my favorite hiking not uh, scrub bashing so I've just uh, whacked on the gaiters just for a little bit of uh, extra protection on those naked ankles um, I think probably my biggest risk here is actually ticks so see how we go I'm gonna try and get up there and over the top um, yeah, I wouldn't mind camping just around the corner here. I think I'm slowly making progress, but uh, yeah, I think my biggest probably issue here will be the number of ticks I catch coming through some of this scrub. And uh, one of my best mates here, the golden or weaver, she's, uh, she packs a punch that spider, so <laughs> hopefully I don't walk through any of those webs. I never make it easy for myself. Um, after a fair whack of uh, bush bashing up the cliff here, I've, come back into a section that's a little bit more open, so it gives me hope that we're gonna be able to get through. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Found something pretty cool here. They're puff balls. Now, where are they? These are all sort of part of the truffle family and normally triggered by water droplets or something like that. See that? Poo poo. Little spores will shoot away. Um, pretty cool little, little, very cool. Rightio, that's where we want to be. Maybe even camp out there. It's kind of like a little island. Wow, what's that little shack out there? That's madness. Huh. I'm hoping we can get down the cliff now. I just sort of might keep a little bit inland. I don't want to hit this massive cliff that's just down there. <laughs> we'll find a nice, somewhat easy way to get through here without scratching myself up too much. So far so good. Amazing, I made it through the golden orb weaver gauntlet. Uh, didn't get any spider bites, so that's always good. And we made it to the beach. There's a tiny little creek here. Looks pretty manky, but uh, nice to know. If we do get desperate, I could follow it up a bit and uh, suss out if there's any, any fresh water there. That was the clip I was trying to get around. I don't think I was ever going to get around there. Gosh. I think there might be a sea cave in there. So I might... Uh, looks a bit sketchy. So we're getting a pretty wicked wind from the north. So I'm thinking I might try and camp down here, but I've just got to check out the tides and make sure I'm nice and safe and dry. But it's not a bad little spot there. There's this little island here. And then there's a northern beach here. But I think it's too blown out and 
I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to stop rock hopping. Pretty tired. But I'm going to explore this little kind of island here. Looks pretty cool. Check out this little little shack that's been built here, sort of a, I don't know, little camp hut. <laughs> it's pretty cool, it's what I saw from up on the cliffs. I made it out to the end of this little island thing, and as you can see, it's pretty darn windy. That's a, kind of an epic northeasterly coming through. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely not gonna sleep on this side of the island and get blown away. I'm going to try and find a nice sheltered spot on the other side. I was hoping I'd actually camp right out here on the island or whatever it is, Ismuth or... Uh, but yeah, it's all too rocky and a bit, a bit rough. Well, I can't complain, this is a pretty amazing little beach and um, you know, because it's south facing, I'm tucked away from that northerly, it's quite beautiful. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to try and work out where to camp for the night. I sort of want to hide in here away from the wind, uh, but it's high tide at 8.30 so we've got a few more hours until that hits and then I might sort of fully set up camp. Maybe I'll just cowboy camp tonight, stuff it. Like, the weather forecast looks good, I've got my duplex with me, it doesn't take long to set up so just make me a bit more flexible about where I camp. Um, just hopefully the goannas don't uh, <laughs> try and steal my food. But I should be pretty safe. Um, there's this little ledge here behind me, but it's all a bit undulating and there's heaps of ants. So that was sort of my first pick. I'll just show you that one. Just that little platform there, it's gorgeous. Um, and you can see in the distance there, there's that little um, stick hut that they've made. Um, I think it's just some people that come in by a fishing boat. How bloody good is a beach where the only footsteps are yours? Feeling pretty happy. Pretty special spot to find. So I found my little spot. I'm just going to go old school and do a cowboy camp here. I think I won't even bother setting up the tent. I'll just sort of dig out a little bit of sand so it's nice and flat, whack the thermarest down and just sleep there. So this is my dryer lint, absolutely so flammable. I just collect a little bit after a load of drying, whack it in the bottom and you're good to go. Have your little, um, little sticks ready to go after that. But a cool trick I also learned, instead of grabbing your knife and scratching it down and hitting your tinder bundle, a really cool idea is actually hold your knife still and pull. So let's see how we go. One, two, Three, there we go. And just uh, gently help the fire build. Look at that. Got to love it. Got to love it. Dry and it. Plenty of air, 
see I'm sort of building left, right, left, right. Letting it grow and catch. Might go for a little swim now and let it do its thing. just starting to set here and what a magical spot. Just recharges the batteries. My little campsite here out of the wind on this little beach. You can see the smoke from my fire just behind that little little rock bridge there. Good night sun and I look like I'm going to be okay. I think there's only about another hour of rising so I think I'm gonna be safe to cowboy camp on the beach every single time I go hiking I'm like why don't I watch the sunrise and sunset more in my normal life and Oh, I just, I'm going to start doing it. I've just, I'm just building a deck at home and I think it's going to be the catalyst for me to watch the more sunrises and sunsets just in my general life because it's just, just to stop and enjoy that moment. Ah, it's priceless, hey. I get a lot of questions about the gear I use and I want to let you know that everything I use is bought by me. It's not being given to me for free. I'm not trying to promote any brands or anything like that. Um, if I am ever given some sweet swag, I'll be completely open, open and honest about it. I do have affiliate links on my page. So if you, you know, want to buy a, a Thermarest Neo Air, click on that link and it helps the channel out. Absolutely no cost to you, but I get like $3 if you buy one. Yeah, and that's a cool way for me to earn a wee bit of money off what I'm doing. I also want to say thank you so much to my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It really, really helps out my channel and I absolutely appreciate it. Another thing you can do to help out the channel is to tell a mate. Please uh, help grow the community. I'm just, I'm loving the comments. I'm loving the likes. It's just, it just inspires me to get out there and do more hikes. Cheers to my members. I've launched memberships on my YouTube channel and it's a way people can contribute and help me dedicate more time and buy more cool equipment to make better videos for you guys. So thank you so much to my members. There's a beer on the trail, there's a coffee on the trail and I really, really do appreciate your support. go-to hiking meal at the moment it's so easy it's just you know boil up some water and eat a delicious meal this is the first hike I've been on for a couple of months and it's just so special to be out here my my amazing partner Elsie just gave birth two months ago to our beautiful girl and it's been just a roller coaster of emotions and love and happiness and sleep deprivation <laughs> um, and thankfully tonight we've got the support of the grandparents and they're looking after her and Elsie and um, allowing me to be out here and I'm just so grateful for that. gourmet food I love dehydrating my own but you know when you've just had a big day of hiking there's nothing better than just um, 
whacking in a bit of water, giving it a stir and waiting, you know, five, ten minutes and enjoying it. I was actually a little bit worried I was getting sick of these meals, but this one is a banger. Mexican chili grass-fed beef. Mm. Can you see it? It's pretty good, hey? I think that might be me. I think I might be done for the night and sleep well, and I'll see you in the morning. I'm going to get up for sunrise. I've so snuggled up here. The stars are pretty amazing. The moon is just rising over the headland. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty cool. There was a little huntsman visiting my uh, setup, which wasn't nice. I just sort of scooped and flicked in. Sleep well. Good night. See you in the morning for sunrise. morning I've just packed up my little setup and I'm just gonna hike up to the little island and watch the sunrise and have a little cook up
died down a little bit. I thought I might as well make use of the facilities and have a little cook up, have my coffee. Good this. Got my coffee. Got my noodles. Beautiful sunrise. Can't complain. Ooh, it's always hot. Just popping back to my original campsite to um, clean it up and make sure I leave no trace. It's uh, something that's very dear to my heart is leaving no trace and letting other people discover this area for themselves and feel like they're the first person to, to to be here. This is the spot where I had my little fire. I burnt down all the coals. I've made sure it's completely out and um, then I've buried it over with sand so it's nice and sort of clean and clear and no one even knows on there except for <laughs> all my footprints. So the plan for today is to retrace my steps but go a little bit inland. There's meant to be a, an old lookout here somewhere so I wouldn't mind picking that up if I can. Uh, and yeah, just uh, enjoying the beautiful coastal scenery. rides well I'm almost back at the car so I just want to say thank you so much for watching what a bloody exciting amazing little adventure that was um, the sunrise and sunset on the ocean are just always spectacular and that campsite was bonkers and the weird little hermit hut that was crazy too um, thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed this please subscribe it really does help out my channel cheers